after your ass. <laughs> we got a nice little move up there at the top. You saw this one this morning. This is one that Dawkins gets all the, we were talking about the, how important the play was. This is a this is a big one here. Run that back one time right there, Coach. That's when he gets knocked out. This is a big one right here. Now you can see the inside guy right here is not trying to give this thing away. And he's going to work off of him. So the end gets too far up the field? No. So the tackle actually didn't have containment. Mm -hmm. He's working so hard not to give it away. He should have this contained. Okay, eventual. Eventual contain. That's what we talk about. Eventual contain. But he just he's working so hard not to give the game away. And it works out pretty good. We get good pressure on the quarterback. Stop it right here just a minute. Now, one of the things, and we're just like you guys, I hope you're this way. We work that pursuit drill, that pass pursuit drill, where we throw the ball. We have them all rally to the hash and lead the, lead the guy in the end zone and all that kind of stuff. We, we try to do that. <clears throat> and it's no blocking below the waist, no blocking behind the ball carrier. And my, my thing is somebody always cheap shot the shit out of the quarterback. You know, somebody hit his ass, okay? So we get this pick from pressure right here. All right, this is the left end, 91 right here. Him out. This is the quarterback from the Vikings. Good night. Ooh. Oh, 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 boy. Oh. Yeah, the side. He lit his ass up. Don't jump. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay, now this is one. I put this one in here because of this. This is a game. This is a game. But it also, he puts a spin move into it to have success on the quarterback. Oh, nice. I get that running back one time. One of the things that spin move is so nice on is the guy's got vertical pads in his high. Mm -hmm. Wonder about one more time. Coach. We gave this thing away. This ain't good coaching here. This ain't good coaching. Watch how quickly he works to the outside. Well, hell, they pick that thing up like a wet sporting man. Watch it. <laughs> outside, it's one of them's coming inside. Yep. I'm telling you now, in the NFL, they read that stuff so daggum well, man. It's unbelievable. But the spin move, I thought was a great job by this kid right here. Yeah, the offensive line did a good job to pick it up. And he just, yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. They read the crap out of it. I tell you. In college, it was a it was a it was a joke compared to what I found in the NFL. I tell you, we don't we don't get many plays off games. Bill will be talking about it, but to be honest with you, to be honest with you, we don't get a lot of we don't get a lot of plays off of games. We've gotten and you're gonna see on the read games when we get in there, we've gotten some created some plays, but we don't get a lot of sacks off of games. We get more sacks, and as I told you earlier. Bragging like hell, we were third in the league in lineman sacks. Well, if you look at our sacks, they're not on blitzes, and they're not on games. They're really just rush sacks. We, we, we do better than with that somehow. Okay, third down game, third down game, this is a twist. Three down game, I'm sorry, three down game. This is a three down uh, deal, and we call this, we call this twist, okay? <clears throat> Right in underneath, nose working the loop. One more time, Coach. You know, I'm a guy that don't worry about three about rushing three. I don't I mean I'm telling you now, we get a lot of mileage. We got five sacks this year off of a three down uh, three man rush. Because I think the quarterback, especially, and I would say this to you, the more programmed the quarterback is, the more difficult the three man rush is on you. Because the eight-man drop is a different picture for him. Steve Spurrier. We, we shut Spurrier out when they were really good. One time, it rushed three all night. Gave the quarterback hell. He'd rather you rush six than three. Spurrier. Because that's where he's, he's geared for that. 
and you blitz him, he's going to burn you. But he, the quarterbacks are so programmed that when that picture changes in the secondary and there's an eighth man drop back there, they have a tendency to have to hold the ball. So I really don't fear that. I never feared it in college. We got a lot of mileage. John saw us play in college uh, years ago. We always got a lot of mileage out of three-man rush, John. Always got a lot of mileage out of it. All right, go ahead. This is a, this is a twist game. Now here's one we get in the quarterback, and this is Florida. Run this one more time. Let me tell you, uh, again, the quarterback, there are certain quarterbacks. There are certain quarterbacks, and Spurrier usually had one of them. I'd rather the son of a gun, I'd rather get him off his drop spot and make him run and make him move and, and take up contain with somebody else. When they would be on the hash, and this is not this shot, if he was on this hash, sometimes we'd let this side just go inside and we'd take up for it with the nose. Because they never have a quarterback that, first of all, can run, and second of all, wants to run. Okay? So, Brother Oliver, uh, John used to tell me, hey, Pete, go ahead and let his ass, let him out of containment, we'll knock his shit out of you, you know? And, and because it, wasn't, it would never be a good runner. So what I'm saying is you got a guy in your league, if you get one of those type operations in your league, where it's a big drop back pass guy or whatever, the three man rush and getting him off his drop spot and getting him moving ain't a bad deal. The nose does a real good job here of taking up contain. <clears throat> Force him out of the pocket off his spot. Now what you right in here, I, when I put this one in here it's just how hard the guy keeps working. Watch him work up that field. He just keeps working like hell up that field for penetration. And the nose is slow as me. Here it comes around. But uh, now here's three down with a linebacker. Three down with a linebacker. And I think this is good stuff right here. I've gotten around where three down, rushing three down and a linebacker is so hard on the offense, I think, because it's hard for them to identify your fourth rusher. It's hard for them to say, you know, here's the four rushers because there's so many multiples with the three down linebacker rush concept, okay? All right, this is, this is the three down. We're going to work these two in here and we're going to wrap the nose. This is Takeo Spikes, who's been in the league. Uh, was an All-American for us and been in the league for, I don't know, this, hell, uh, he must be 10 or 12 years at least. Was really a good athlete. So we were, a lot of times we were wanting to freak the kid and bring him. So here's your three down guys. With Coach Arnsberger, who's a San Diego guy here who, shit, was one of the best football coaches I've ever been around my whole life. These three, we didn't, we, go, stop and make coach. We didn't even worry about these three. The linebackers were numbered. The strong side linebacker, and I can't see, but the strong side outside backer was nine. The weak side guy was eight, six, and seven. So this would be 37 ISO. The three guys, seven would go, and we run an ISO game. So easy. Boy, it was easy rushing with three guys the way he had those linebackers numbered. It was, it was, it was one of the easiest call systems I've ever been around in my life. Nice job here by, by the nose. Go ahead, Coach, and run. Working them inside, the nose wraps. Watch him here. Tomahawks it out like we talked about this morning. Here's the outside linebacker here. Okay, this this right here, run that back to us, please. This would be 38 fold. 38 fold. Here's your eight off, off that three man front. Yeah, the next one. Here he is right here. He'd be working up field, he'd be folding under. Uh Ron, that's Carl Dunbar getting sacked. Dunbar. <laughs> Got a broke foot too. Played his whole damn senior year with three broken bones in his foot. Wow. Yeah, sure did. Okay, 
this would be just 36, where you got the three men rushing and your six linebackers rushing straight ahead. Right, we just turned it into a four man rush uh, with that deal. Now, here's one here. This is, you've seen us do this. This is one Jim really likes. We penetrate with the nose here. You're going to see the linebacker come up. He's going to penetrate, and this is your rep guy. I believe this is it. Okay. Walk the linebacker up late. Hit the A's. I worked a rep. <coughs> this this has been pretty good for us. We've gotten a little pressure, and as you saw, we got a sack on this one. Now, I think there's a couple more shots out there. I want to see if I can stop this. I want John to see this. I want y'all to see it, but, but John, John knows this guy real well. Stop it. Let's not lean on this shot. That's okay. Go ahead. Watch how cool 97 is. Just another damn day in the office. <laughs> now, this is one I want you to see right here. Back this one up on me, coach. I want to say, try to stop it on what I tell you. Okay? Stop it. Up, too far. Back up just a little bit. Back up just a little bit. There it is right there. All right. Go again. Stop it. No. Dang it. That's all right. My fault. One more time. That's all right. Coordination problem. This is going to be worth seeing. Look at Leonard Davidson. <laughs> right there, back. Look at that damn hand. Man. Oh, look at that! Look at Leonard Davis's hand on, on Mike's headgear here. A little bit for well, uh, back him up just a little bit. I covered his entire freaking head. Yeah, it covers his whole damn face up. Oh, cool. <laughs> it looks like a damn bear paw. I mean, he got that whole face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, guys, that's the biggest summit I ever seen in my whole life. Boy. He, he, Bunkley, 97, this kid gets his act here, was walking off the field. Brady James uh, played for us here at LSU, and boy, uh, uh, Spears, Marcus Spears played for us. I was talking to him after the game, and uh, Brady James and Spears and I were talking to him. I saw Bunkley in that 97 walking off the field with Leonard and uh, Flozell. We won the game. I thought, how the hell we win that game? <laughs> I mean, I'm telling you, he is so big. But that, look at that. When I showed this to the players, to my players, I mean, they like to fill out them damn six leaves with Leonard's big old hand. He got Mike's whole head covered up there. <laughs> <laughs> now, here's something that he's doing. We run that game, and they block him down. We try to keep pushing them down. We try to keep pushing them down like that because we want to shorten that corner for that rep guy. So he, he's doing this with this hand right here. I just have to see. That's what he really wants to do is keep caving them down. Even on the zone blitz, let's say zone blitz, and you probably all do that thing. Bring that guy, and if, they, if they're sliding the things that way, everybody keeps squeezing them down where you scrape back or can come off tight and get a good running shot at the quarterback. We, we, talk, we talk about it. just keep shoving them down where they're going. Okay? All right, go ahead. I love the way he gets up. He does this shit all the time. Now do it. All right, now, this is a spy uh, technique. And this is a, this is a three-man game with a, with a back. All right, hold it just a minute. Here's your three down guys. There's your fourth guy. That's your defensive end right here. All right, he's a spy. We can spy the back. Or in this case, we're going to spy the quarterback. Okay? So it's a three down game. If we spy the back, it means that there's no check down to the linebackers in the secondary. So we got him in a man situation. If we spy the quarterback, we'll do different things front wise to deal with the quarterback. I think in this case, 
We're going to bring this guy under. We're going to bring him here. We want him working to this side. I think it is in this particular case. But this is good stuff. There he goes. And here comes the spy. And there's the sack. This is something that might be useful to you. Because this ain't, this, I mean, you know, it's pro ball, but it's just, it's just old football. We get the quarterback running to his left. He's a right-handed quarterback. That's what we want to do. Got them arms moving, Coach. Driving with them, aren't you? Got the inside move, flushing that way. All right, same thing here. 75, y'all have seen him play left in a bunch. He had several sacks today. So he's now playing this position. And and uh, Big Ben, we want Big Ben this way. This I'm not sure there's two of these. I'm not sure he didn't go the other way on this one, but that's what we were wanting him to do. Yeah, he came out the way we wanted him, right there. Yeah. Back it up, please, Coach. There, see your spy come out right here? Watch 75. We're working the guys inside. We got the spy coming out that side. That really ain't hard. Now, I think this is one he goes the wrong way. <coughs> he goes the way we don't want him to go. We really don't want him rolling to his right because he's a very effective passer rolling to his right. But it's hard on any of them when they get in hell on time like that to throw it to anybody. So, so it works out still. But you see, we're slanting it this way because we really want to give up contain on this side. All right, stop it just a minute now. Let me, let me, let me tell you what's going on here in this. this we're trailing in this game. This is the fourth quarter, and we're trailing by a couple points in this game. This boy right here, Jason Campbell, really throws well working to his right. He's about like me throwing, not that bad, but he's throwing, working this way. He is so average. He's really average. He has a really hard time getting the ball into, with any accuracy or velocity to that side. So it's going to be that same game. Here's 75. We're going to work this way. We're going to try to make him go that way. And then we're going to get him with the spy. Okay? Ninety-seven scoops it. It's a turnover at the nine-yard line. We take it in and score. With this wins the game. This wins the game right here. Now, run that back one time. Ron, you and I talked about this. We talked about this earlier today. This is an outside single block. Keep going. See the hand block? Yep. Cross the midpoint. Mid, yep. <clears throat> and on this next shot, you can see it even better. Boom, there it is right there. And then we get hip on hip. Okay? Sit on this one. This wins the ball game for us. It wins the ball game. Now, we looked at a sack on this one today. This is a cop call. This turns into a three-man rush, and we might be copping. We cop in the back on this, okay? This is, and we talked about it earlier today. I, I, we got into it somehow. This is, a, Coach John said that was a three-man rush that we got him on and whatever, and I said, yeah, we had the. Here's, hold it just a minute. Let me set this up for you. Okay, this is a big check down team. All right. So what we did, the DT, the tackle, to the, to the side of the back becomes the cop. He's the cop. So this guy now is going to become the middle rusher, and these two guys out here are going to be rushing team guys. This guy right here is going to cop the back. Now, this is game plan stuff. This is game plan stuff based on the fact that this is a real check down football team. Okay?
Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, what I think happens good here, this guy does a great job for me. I watch a lot of guys in the NFL. We really, we ask our guy to get that swoosh up the middle. I don't give a damn if there's three of them on you or one of them or five of them. We, we want you, you know, you're probably not going to get the sack, but you can help get the sack. If you, I see them stand on the line of scrimmage right there. I just hate that. Yeah, nice push up the field, which allowed the sack action. This is the one against Dallas right here we looked at earlier. We cop in the back because you guys know if you watch Romo at all, he's a master of a check down stuff. Really good at it. One more time. That's what he, he, he that was his relief right here, was to drop it off. This boy does a nice job getting them on two levels and working between the slide protection. <clears throat> Okay, this is two inside ISO game. Uh, all right, hold it. Just step in right just a minute. We're going to bring these two inside. We're going to contain with the tackle on this side. Now, that's Ron's quarterback back here, who is as good a thrower as he is in the game. But he's not your best runner either, okay? Now, a lot of times we'd say, okay, run the ISO, Run the ISO only, only to, uh, we wouldn't run it against a good running quarterback, first of all, because we wouldn't want to contain the quarterback to this side with this guy. But in this case, we could do it because of who the quarterback is. You'd rather see this guy run and break contain than you had to throw the football out of the pocket. Okay? Mm -hmm. So you're going to see the two inside guys work inside on the ISO, and you're going to see the backside tackle come around and contain it. And we get a play out. Nice rush up here at the top, too. Now, one thing I'd like for you to look at, especially you guys who were in there this morning, when we did stunts, watch, it, watch the effectiveness of these guys' steps. No wasted movement. Both of them took really nice steps inside. We got him off his spot. We got him moving. And we contain him with the backside defensive tackle. Okay? Now, we're going to do it here again. We bring in these. And the reason I put this one in here, watch this nice tight rep by the nose tackle. This is what I'm saying here. When you work at the inside, keep pushing them and shorten the corner for the scraper, whoever it might be. Keep pushing them, keep caving them if they turn the protection away from them. This is real good. This is an ISO. I want to talk about this one just a minute, too. This is what we looked at this morning, a stunt we call the ISO. We've got a face right here, okay? Now, here's what, this guy right here is a big gap defender. Now, I think this is good, guys. This guy right here is a big gap defender. So he's got a long way to come from that six or seven alignment right there. And we tell him this, don't try to get across his face. If he blocks down, come right smooth off his ass and make the play. Okay? Because if, if, he, if he gets caught up in here and works down in here, we create that separation. So you'll see the tackle block down. Watch how smooth it comes right off his ass right here. So okay? the tackle going to step away. Can slide away, then work off of his Work off his hip. Because he's filling the gap that you have anyways, right? Yeah, he's in the, yeah. you're right. He's working in the big gap. I just want to, yeah, I just want to, I don't want to try to get across his face. There's no need. Right. He's still, yeah, he's going to slide. Yeah. And, and, and there's a, I think the steps are good here on this one. Okay. One more time, Kevin. Show it one more time. Here's one where the nose works around for, for containment. Now, let me say this to you. Stop it just a minute. I ain't sure Jim thought they were going to throw the football to I don't know that he did. I can't remember the down and distance. I don't know that. This is not, this is a read game. It's a read game. This is what we talked about in the first talk. This is a read game. We're running the stunt. We're reading the nose out. 
Y'all saw him today, we'd run the stunt and he'd work across it and make tackles or he'd go this way and make tackles with the read game stuff. It's, that's good stuff, guys, I'm telling you. That's good stuff. The guy that introduced me to read games was Satan. I had never done it in college until I coached for Satan. <clears throat> and we were, we were good at read games. And uh, so when I go to Philadelphia, uh, it just, you know, we did those read games and we've been really, really effective with it. But the nose does a nice job here, and so does the left. They all do. The left hand does a real good job coming off that hip. Coach, remind me on the read game for the nose that the center's working away. Then he's looping. This way. Here's here's when he's looping. Right. I mean, if the center is working away from him. Doesn't matter. Okay. Here's here's the thing, coach. The ball's in the three lane. It's drop back pass. Right. So we need him out here, or it could be in the two lane. Is sprint that way. Really? Okay. He just becomes a contained guy for this guy. All right. And we get some play out. You're gonna see some plays <coughs> off this stuff and some quarterback hits and stuff like that. But that's just that was just ISO like we talked about this morning. This I think is ISO also. Okay, now this is what we call a clear game. We talked about taking advantage of personnel. This is what we call a clear game. And this is a, Coach, go ahead please and, and uh, go to that first game. This is a, this is, a, stop it right there if you would. This is an example of what I was talking about a while ago. This is where we took an inside linebacker, Brady James, who, who is an outstanding player for the, uh, Cowboys. He's probably the best player on their defense. We put Brady at left end on the four down. On three down, he would have been an inside backer. We've replaced the inside backer with a DB. Okay? So, he's a left end. I, I, I never got Brady in the, in the, you know, you just don't get him. As a defensive line coach, you don't get him. They go, we talk about sending them down there and give them a little pass <laughs> rush and that shit, but I ain't seen that yet, you know. Uh, so what I try to do, what I tried to do here with Brady is run a, uh, run a clear game. And this is taking advantage of an athlete, is, is what I, and taking advantage of a, of a athlete on a poor athlete, right? So what I tell him, you come off Brady with speed. You can go outside or you can go inside. You get the freedom to do whatever you want. We're going to read it out with this tackle. And where you don't go, that's where we go. Okay, and I think in this particular case, Brady's going to choose to go inside. Watch this guy read it out and then he'll take up contain. Now, that's an easy thing, guys. I'm going to tell you, if you don't do that, it's not a hard thing to do. It's not a hard thing to do. And if you've got a, uh, like, y'all go watch him, 58, uh, who my rollerball butcher knives, uh, Trent Cole. I tried like hell to do it with Trent Cole. But Trent could never make up his mind. <laughs> and the damn tackle was left out there, you know, come in his ear. And there was, Trent could just not make up his damn mind. So I couldn't do it with him. It just, I just never could get it done. Okay? But it's a really, it's a really, th it's a good thing if you've got one of those really good athletes to just let him, c cut him loose and let him do his thing. And then cover for him with the DT, okay? Watch the defensive tackle. You see him, uh, wait, wait, Brady's inside, I'm outside. I need to call that. Can we see one more time? Clear. <coughs> Clear. Is, is it a, um, a um, defensive call or do you just no, do it? I'm sorry. Yeah, I just know it. Clear. So you'll call that yeah. from, from the boundary? Or we can always say this. When you go in the game, yeah. let's run a clear game. Okay. But this is clean it up. Clear. So with that guy, you would just. Hey, I just tell him, I said, Brady, let's run a clear game. And uh, again, he don't work on no damn pass. I tried that with my D coordinator and never remembers the call. Yeah, and and I and, and I take that off of him. Okay. 
and I can understand him not being able to call that. I really can't. Uh, I try to take that off. I'm, I call the games. <coughs> I call the games. Jim don't call the games. Uh, I brought